Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is Gerald Peters. I'm the author of this free book. This is completely free. I will be more than happy to send you a digital copy. Obviously, a physical copy is not free. I'm the author of that book. It's called You Don't Have to Die Broke. It teaches my basic strategy for handling money and the type of things I invest in. I'm also the author of this book called The Money Flow Trading System. And we've been doing a series on stock trading. Let's go back to the book. And I'm just sharing my strategy with you. We're going to dig in. Let's see, this is the online digital version. On this version, you can read from your phone, which is kind of cool, but I also have physicals. What I'm gonna show you to do, <clears throat> or attempt to show you to do, now this is what we'd all like to do. Look at this beautiful run here. The core of my strategy is built on a couple different things. A couple things, I already mentioned it in the video back there. So let's, let's walk through this. When I got glasses on. I want to take you I think I missed it. I went a little too far. So you see we got lots of charts, lots of examples. So that stuff you saw me drawing on the whiteboard is all covered right in here. But basically I believe the market moves in four. Let's go back to state page two. The market moves in four stages. Right here. Now this is a clean representation of what we mean by four stages. Um, so my rambling there, at least you got to see, the book has a lot of charts to give you a lot of examples. So see these? As a trader, I wanna get in right here and I wanna sell over here as a trend trader. But you know what? Because I know these areas exist, these gray areas where we're not quite sure, we're gonna add a couple indicators to help us capture some profits in here while holding true to the trading the trend. Because at the end of the day, I'm a trend trader. I thought I had another one. If I didn't, I gotta go back and update my, thought I had it in there. <clears throat> anyway, that's a clean representation. Let me show you a better one. Let's go to, oh, here we go. If you go to my website, it's in the link here, link tree. You can go to my newsletter where I have a couple of these stocks running with the strategy for, there's no cost on any of this. Here we go. This is the Bible. You see in my little news, it says you must memorize these patterns you see in the picture. You should see it in your sleep. This is what I believe. Markets go sideways, markets break up. Markets go sideways, markets break down. Markets go sideways. Now a market can go sideways, break up, sideways, break up, sideways, break up, and you could stair-step ride this market the entire way if you stalk the stock. If you stalk the stock. And so in my little newsletter, I do the S&P 500, uh, a two times leveraged riskier product called the CEFL, and a mortgage REIT called AGNC. Now, you may notice one thing about those stocks is those stocks pay dividends. I like to be right and get paid if I'm right, and I like to get paid if I'm wrong. In other words, if I trade or buy an investment, now I'm talking trading, investing is a little different. My strategy works for both trading and investing. But at the core of this, I want you to understand, I believe in buy and hold. I believe if you buy quality stocks anywhere along in this any one of these four stages, and if you hold them over time, you'll collect dividends, and through the power of compounding, you'll build more share count, and you'll build your money. I completely agree with that theory, and I think buying index funds and holding them is a fine idea. But what if while you did that, you also added aggressively to those index funds in state, like right here? Like I literally bought right here. Now, did I know that that was the very bottom of the very low of that move? No but I was able to identify a stage four decline, just like in the whiteboards, go back and watch the whiteboards. As we go down, 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 another indicator tells me, hey, this price has gone too far too fast. Now, I believe in buy and hold, so I initiate a position right here, and if it continues to go, okay. We stay with the strategy and we buy again on the next low. Now, if you just bought one, trust me, whenever this low locks in, very shortly, the market turns. Look right here. Here's the opposite. Here's a high. So this is a RSI, Relative Strength Index, standard setting of 70. 
We're just combining some things like a recipe. We're combining the idea that stocks do, over time, about 70% of the time, go up. Even if you look at this, look, up, down, up, down, up. But if you look, the general climb is what? Up. See that? So we have to have a fundamental belief that stocks over time go up due to inflation, due to more people being more, more money coming in, more people. Now there's trillion dollar companies. There'll be lots of trillion dollar companies. And then I don't know what comes after a trillion, but it'll come. And so all I'm looking to do is identify the bottoms, catch the breakouts and identify the tops so that I can move money in and out, in and out, in and out. A little bit of money investing in the lows, doing trades on the breakout, taking profits on the top, avoiding as much of this in my trades as I can, but utilizing this for my investments. This is called the money flow trading strategy. Now this book isn't free, but it is a follow up to my free ebook, You Don't Have to Die Broke, where I show you the type of things that I invest in. Now in this free newsletter, at the back I do a little bit of a trading lesson. Fake stage two breakouts. This is where I show you the strategy not working. <laughs> We need to have a plan for when it doesn't work. Now, the beautiful thing about what I do is when it doesn't work, I get paid. I trade stocks that pay me money just to own them, but I also invest in stocks that pay me money just to own, own them. I own cash flowing assets. I'm highly invested in single family real estate. This is my website. Where are we at here? Huntsvilleforrent.com. Come over here, click view rentals. These are my houses. I invest for cash flow. I buy these houses as investments. I pay people to fix them up. I buy them under value. I put renters in them. Best product, best price. I invest to make money. I don't buy houses to flip houses. I don't buy houses to catch appreciation. I buy houses to create cash flow. I do the same in the stock market. So let's look at a trade that a follower of mine identified. I don't know why I didn't have that zoomed out. Sorry on the houses there, I was a little close. You can see I'm not a professional YouTuber. I'm just a guy teaching financial literacy from what I've done. Well, highest paying job I ever had paid me $12.50 an hour. Unless you count the army, which it didn't really pay me. So I'm an investor. These are the types of things I invest in. I'm also a stock trader. I'm also a stock investor. I invest in cash flow and assets in the form of REITs, business development companies, high quality blue chip stocks, ETNs, closed end funds, and I've built a portfolio of about 42 different assets that produce cash flow every single month. But inside of that, I trade. So let me show you a trade that one of my followers has brought to me. I don't trade this, but this is a high flying stock. Here is our stage four declines where it starts, and then here again, we almost had a stage, here's a fake breakout, and look what happens. You got blasted. This was a fake breakout and you got blasted. So what do you do? Inside the book, I go into much detail, but you see how far away apart these moving averages are? And up here, you see the RSI saying, this is saying it's a buy. This is telling you prices move too fast, too far. If you are an investor, this is your first clue. So now we got to go to the chart and we got to interpret the moving averages. They're pointing straight down. No rush here. Look how far apart these are. No rush here. So we stalk, we stalk the stock. We follow it. Look what happens. Puts in stage one base. Where's the book? See that? You see that? Looks a whole lot like that, don't you think? See that? Where's it at? Like, I didn't make this shit up. And up and then down. Now, it's not going to be these purity waves. This is just to give you, in your mind, the pattern. Down and up and down and then up. And then. See what I'm saying? That's how the S&P does it. Isn't that what the S&P did on that chart? Where's S&P? Let's go to stock charts. Let's pull up the S&P 5. There's the Dow Jones. Look at this, up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and it just gradually goes up over time. 70% of the time up, see, 
20%, 70%, 20%. And you're gonna have this gradual sloping of the market. And all the way through here, you're gonna have people, the world is ending, you need to go to gold, trying to scare you. There's no money in that stuff. Money's in acknowledging the market moves in four stages. Now center to the four stages, where's the book? We got that. Here's our indicators we're starting with. The five day exponential moving average, the 10 day exponential moving average, the 20 day simple moving average, the RSI support and resistance zones, and you need to know how I read those, and the MACD. Now what's important, you need to understand that the moving averages aren't, that isn't what makes them great, it's how you interpret the moving averages and how you interpret price and what price is doing in relation to those moving averages. This didn't happen overnight. This is 18 years of trading and putting together 500 books and dozens of courses and years of trading to come together with a strategy that acknowledges that buy and hold work, acknowledges that dividends pay, acknowledges that trading is possible, and combining all of these into a system that produces, hopefully, profits. I can't say you'll produce profits. I think it's actually illegal to tell you. Matter of fact, you'll probably lose money. Hopefully, that covers me. Don't do this because you'll lose money. So here we see our first signal, moving average too far apart. If you read the chapter where I explain how to read them, these gotta come together. Once they start coming together, now you take your position as an investor. On the breakout above the 20 day moving average, you take your position as a trader. These came very fast, okay? That's not always the way it is. But in these high flyers, it can be like that. That's why you gotta stock the stock. So you would've took a position here, small position, one fourth of the size of this position, then you would've took this position. Now, I'm not showing you to telling you to do that today in this. I'm using that as an example. So what's another one we could be stalking? Netflix had gotten destroyed. So now we're stalking it. See, price is still below this. Here was your first signal to buy some shares as a trader or as an investor. It's at the low. But it's not perfect. Nobody is. Nobody knows price direction. Don't let anyone try to sell you that bullshit. So when we got the signal here as an investor, but remember what I told you, these moving averages are too far away. We got to wait for them to get closer. But when they get closer, look, we're not low again. So you need to wait, you need to wait, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait. Now down in here, you could call this low, but I like to see this. And look what happens. We get our thing. See, it's under the 20-day moving average. Moving averages are all pointing down. You're not on a neg a, a, an aggressive RSI. The selling pressure is not over is what this means. But this is nuance. You're gonna to have to learn to read these two here. A Little bit of nuance. Even if you'd have bought some here, you did get it on quite a low, right? That's not that big a deal. As an investor, you're coming down. Look now, now you're getting it again. See, by waiting until we got an extreme reading, look where we bought. So we don't wanna buy all of our shares because it isn't a downtrend. But in order to capture and make money on downtrends, you've gotta buy it on the lows. This is a strategic way of buying it on the lows. And what'll probably happen here, it'll start to turn, and then you're gonna have what happens in Ulta. Price breaks out above the 20-day moving average. This is your stage one breakout, right out of my book. Right here, but you know what? Darn it, where's the... I like this other one. I think I didn't put it in there, because that, maybe it's copyright. I don't know why I didn't put it in the book, right here. See where it says best time to buy? Best time to buy for traders. And then you want to take profits on stage three. What's going to happen on stage three? Let me show you. Uh, we caught a good break on Conoco Phillips recently. So look, right here. You got your signal to buy, but look, look how far away these moving averages are. So what does my strategy say? Wait. Now this is nuance. I told you this. This is nuance. You could have gone ahead and just bought right here. But I would recommend you wait. There's no rush. These have not come together. Look at this. Now what happens when they come together? They're right toward the bottom. And you're buying, and then you catch here again for the breakout. And then look, there's your extreme. The opposite of this. We want to buy on extremes. We want to take profits on extremes. But we don't want to kill the goose. We just want to take profits. So we got in here. We got in here. We got our signal. So we sold a third or a fourth. Of, I like to sell the, the ones that I bought down here up here. That's just me. You can modify the strategy to suit your needs. Maybe you got bigger balls, you're going for a bigger payoff, you don't do anything here. But I think it's prudent to take a little money off here. Look at this, we caught $10 run. I probably made $1,000, so I'll sell enough to at least get my $1,000.
Want to buy a new iPhone, maybe. I take that money. Maybe I move it over to another trade. Maybe I move it over to Ultria. It's under fire right now. This is dangerous stock right now. Look where we're at. You got your signal right there, right? You could buy there. I waited. Look how far apart. These are all pointing down. There ain't no urgency in that. This is a downtrend. It's a downtrend. So you wait. We want this to come in more extreme, and then you buy a little bit. You don't have to buy a lot. Buy five shares, buy 10 shares, and then wait. What are we waiting on? The breakout, price above. So let's look at another breakout, one that's not so extreme. Let's look at CFO. This is one I trade daily. So let's put in the turning points where the market does a stage break above the 20. These are our zones for traders. And let's put in our zone for investors, the extremes. And we want to follow these. So we follow these every day, right? And look where the extremes are. Look where the extremes are. So on this one, I trade it slightly different. When I get these extremes, I take the position, even if I'm far away from the moving averages. And it's just because I, I, I follow this enough to know that these, these are pretty reliable. But on blue chip stocks, pure trades, I don't necessarily do that. Why? Because I invest in this. I'm growing a core position and I'm trading it. And so it looks like this. Right here, I sell the trade that I put on down here. So let's start from the beginning. Right here, I went to half cash. Goes down, 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 down. I get my extreme. I put some of that money back on. Moves up, 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 up. I put on the rest of it here. I ride it up till I get my extreme. I start taking profits. And then right here, I get my sales signal. I'm back in half cash. We're back to the extreme. Start putting it back on. These are days, by the way. So this was a week later. So don't feel like you're like, oh my God, this is so much. This was a week later. This takes five seconds. And then right here, I add some more. We head up, we pull back. I add the rest of it on the breakout. I've rode it up all the way. We took profits, now why? There's another section in the book. Support and resistance, we have to handle this. This has to be treated. When price comes up to support, like it did right here, you have to treat this. You have to treat this. You could have made a case for taking profits right here. And so I give it a day, give it a couple days, you gotta recognize this, and then it breaks right through. You don't even need to worry. But look what happened here. So I waited, waited, waited. Price is not breaking through. We're on a 70 RSI, so right in here, I sold just my profit from this. So I took it off, I sold, I forget how many shares. I do thousands of shares in this, and now I'm sitting. So I'm lowering my risk into higher prices, and I'm waiting. If we break out again, if I want it, I could put it back on. I'll probably leave it in cash. I'll collect the dividends. This pays a dividend every month, and keep trading the strategy. I'm looking to take advantage of the highs and the lows, and to catch the breakouts inside of this idea of what I call the money flow and how money moves through stocks. So let's look at some of the ones in my chart, in my book. Your signal to get out, all the indicators line up, blah, 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 blah. This is oil, it's a different game. I wouldn't buy that, you know, this is, this is something you only buy on the breakouts. So let's look at this recent move in gold. Remember, commodities, I'm only looking for the breakouts. I'm not holding these. So we got in down here, ride the strategy up. We had a fake breakout here, and I, the stop is right here. So I'm back in gold, I'm underwater this time around. Here's the stop. Support and resistance, the chapter in the book. So this was a legit breakout. I have to honor my strategy. See it closed above the 20 day, crossed over here. We were getting a crossover. It was fake. I had a bad feeling it'd be fake, but look at this huge move, so that's why I kind of felt bad. I mean, once you get big moves, it just doesn't keep handing you money. Here's our breakouts. See our extremes? So we gotta learn to read these and read the nuances. See how far price got away from that? I wanna give that a minute. You can make hard and fast rules around this, but I like to give this a minute. I honor this, but I give this a minute because it might keep going. Once it started coming in, go ahead and take your profit from this. 
In this case, it got a little bit lower, but look at all that run you had. You got to honor it. So we'll continue in part two.